Hey, Mr. E here. So in this video, we're going to solve more complex problems that involve trig. And you know that word complex is so subjective. But for us, uh, in the context of this video, complex means we're going to have to use two formulas to solve this problem. So here it is. And, and it says to find the missing side B. So that's this side here, HA that we're looking for or we could just call it side B because it's across from this angle here angle ABH alright so let's brainstorm a little bit before we jump into it it would be nice if we could just use a trigonometric ratio to find the missing side B there is a right triangle here but in order for us to use a trigonometric ratio like sine, cosine, or tangent, we need to know what at least one of the sides of the right triangle is. As of now, we don't know what any of the sides measure. So, so much for that approach. So that's not going to work for us. Um, however, what we could do is we could focus on another part of the diagram so why don't we focus instead on this triangle here and let's focus on trying to find side HB or side A let's focus on that because once we figure out side A then we can use sine to find the missing side B so let's focus on side A then how could we find side A how could we do it well uh, is there anything else I know about triangle HBC? Well, I know that these two angles here have to add up to 180. So if this is 45 degrees, then I know this angle here is 135 degrees. Right? And if this is 135 degrees and this is 30 degrees, then I know this angle here has to be 15 degrees. So what could I do to find the missing side A? Well, I could use the law of sines. So using the law of sines, I can write this formula. I could, I could say um, the sine of 15 degrees. So I could say the sine of 15 degrees over the opposite side, which is 250, equals the sine of 30 degrees this angle here over the opposite side which is a so there I have now an equation with one variable and that's something that I can solve right so let's go ahead and do it let's solve you're gonna have to cross multiply and when we cross multiply we get 250 times the sine of 30 equals a times the sine of 15 we will now divide both sides by the sine of 15 so uh, 250 times the sine of 30 divided by the sine of 15 I get approximately 482.96 so I'm gonna write that so I get 482.96 is a whoopee so I have now found a it is 482.96.96 right okay so now where does where does that get us well we still have to find the missing side B right that was the original task so Let's now focus on the right triangle. So let's go back to that. So let's focus on the right triangle. This guy here. Now, how could I find the missing side B? All right, well, um, let's extend the page here. Um, let me draw this triangle separately. So. Um, I could illustrate better what I'm trying to do what I'm going to do 
Okay, so here's the right triangle, BAH, and we know that this is lowercase b, that's what we're looking for. The hypotenuse is 482.96, and we know that this angle here measures 45 degrees. What I could do to find, and, and again, right, that's just the same triangle, the same right triangle drawn separately. What I could do to find the missing side b, I can use um, the trigonometric ratio sine. I can do the sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And let's explain why this works. Um, I have this angle here of 45 degrees. And if I use that as a reference angle, then this is opposite. And this is the hypotenuse because it's across the right angle. So I could write sine of 45 degrees equals the opposite, which is B, over the hypotenuse, which is 482.96. I could put this over 1, and now I can cross multiply and solve for B. So cross multiplying, I get B equals the sine of 45 times 482.96. So the sine of 45 times 482.96 is equal to approximately 341.50 if we round to the nearest hundredth. So that's what I get for B. I get approximately 341.50. Oh, uh, let me zoom up a little. Let me, uh, let me move that up. So B equals 341.50. Okay. Um, and that's the final answer. So to, again, so to summarize, um, what we did is we first had to solve for the missing side uh, HB over here. And we did that by using the law of sines. And then once we got that missing side here, we were able to use sine to solve for the missing side B. And that's how we got our answer. So it really helps with these types of problems to just, you know, focus on different parts of the diagram, like sort of zoom in on a certain part and then work in that part first to solve for a missing side. And then what you want to do is use whatever you got from there to find what you're ultimately looking for. So I hope this video helps. Take care.